National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, naturopathic doctor here, Jonathan Beatty, health expert with nationalnutrition.ca. One of the things many of my patients present in my office with is an infection called H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori. This is a type of infection that often infects the stomach, although it can be found in the small and large intestine as well. About half of us uh, actually have this infection, although it'll only be symptomatic in you know, less than 10% of people. And so it does bring up the question of a chicken and an egg scenario. H. pylori is associated with an increased risk of ulcer, and it is commonly found in uh, gastric ulcers or stomach ulcers. However, not all ulcers have H. pylori, and not all people with H. pylori have ulcers. So although it's connected, it's not necessarily causative for them. The one problem is, is if you do have H. pylori, it has a very unique life cycle. And one of the things it's actually designed to do is A, it screws into your stomach lining to hold nice and strong, and B, its special metabolism actually allows it to produce a base to neutralize your stomach acid. And so in doing so, what it does is it actually can keep an ulcer going, uh, but it also neutralizes that stomach acid that your body would typically use to eliminate infections in the stomach. So it is an infection that's very, very specifically designed to live in your stomach and because of its unique scenario, this unique scenario, it is able to you know, exacerbate a stomach ulcer. And so for that reason, we do want to treat it if we do find it. Now, how do we find it? Well, you can get a blood test. Uh, however, all the blood test means is that at one point in your life, you've had H. pylori. So if you've had H. pylori, you've had it treated, a blood test is not going to be an effective way of diagnosing it. Another way that you can diagnose an H. pylori infection is through what we call a urea breath test. You basically, you drink a special solution of uh, radio labeled urea, and then you actually breathe into a little tube a little while later. And if enough ammonia is produced, uh, that is indicative of having an active H. pylori infection. And so that tells you that not only have you been exposed to the bacteria, but it is actively working in your stomach. And so that's a good test to confirm whether or not you've just you know, been infected in the past versus having an active infection right now. So why would I go get tested? Well, if you present at the doctor with you know, unexplained stomach aches, fatigue, inability to absorb iron, um, you know, if you've got been diagnosed with an ulcer, or you have chronic indigestion, those are all reasons you might want to ask your doctor to test to see if you have an H. pylori infection. And if you do, there are a couple of treatment options available. The first one that's going to be offered to you likely is that your doctor will offer something they call an H. pack, which is two different antibiotics, as well as something to block stomach acid production. And that's there because the antibiotics used work better at a lower stomach pH and they have a better effect on the uh, H. pylori that way. Um, but you can see how difficult an infection it is to treat that they need two separate antibiotics at the same time. Now, naturally you can treat it with herbal antibiotics. I've personally found in my practice a herb called Golden Seal, very effective at treating the H. pylori infection. Uh, as well, what you wanna do is you wanna reduce the inflammation in the stomach. So what we use is something called mastic gum or masticokios. This mastic gum is very good at binding up uh, an ulcer, protecting your stomach lining. It creates a nice coating over the ulcer and allows the ulcers to heal in a speedy time. Uh, also, you can use something called DGL or deglycerinized licorice. DGL, again, it, it helps to heal the ulcers faster. And by healing the ulcer, you're getting rid of that environment uh, where H. pylori can live and so you're reducing uh, its habitat uh, so that it can't colonize your gut anymore. So those are some of the effective ways that you can actually manage an H. pylori infection. And if you are prone to getting recurrent H. pylori infections, another thing to consider is good probiotics. Because of course, if you can colonize your intestinal lining, your stomach, with all the healthy bacteria that's supposed to be there, they will outcompete the H. pylori, preventing them from getting a foothold again. 
So if you have H. pylori, you're not sure, go get tested from your doctor. And if you do get diagnosed with it, I hope some of the tips I've uh, given you today will be helpful in managing your symptoms. So if you like this video, check out more of our natural health videos on our channel. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health. Thank you.